Can you imagine yourself? I mean, June, you're a weenie. I can't imagine <laughs> you being able to stick up for yourself if somebody tried to get you at a cash Well, point. normally I wouldn't. Normally I would sort of run away. But there was a time where um, I'd gone out for the evening um, and I used to live in an apartment building which had sort of three, six flats in my particular yeah. block. And we all knew each other. All the neighbours were friends. Anyway, so I'd gone out one night, got home about 3 a.m., those were the days when I used to be able to do that. Yeah. Right now I'm like 11 o'clock. Like, oh. So anyway, so I got home and um, I had lots of bags on me because I'd been to a party and I had some flowers and so I couldn't turn on the light in the hallway. So I saw this man coming down the stairs and I thought, oh, it must be one of the neighbours. So when he got in front of me, it wasn't. So I thought, oh, maybe he's visiting someone. So I moved to the left. He moved. I moved to the right. He moved. I stopped. He stopped. I was like... Uh oh something came over me i became a banshee from wolfenstone and i literally dropped my side i said you get away from me <laughs> grabbed him and kicked him out the door i mean, <laughs> I mean the poor sad man was probably just visiting a friend he thought what's happened to me <laughs> But I do think that in those sorts of situations, yeah. you do go into fight or flight and something else comes over you.